I'm heading up um, a robotics perception project with, at EMEC, um, which is located in Belgium, together with the Freie Universität Brussels, also known as VOB, where we're trying to make robots collaboratively aware of the environment by a new perception system that we're developing. We're working especially a lot with industry actually together, and we've been recently in a big um, German car player there in a the plant, and they wanted to have a cobot. So this cobot was supposed to lift a piece up and bring that piece into a pre-montage area for a turbo charger. Problem there though was like firstly this this place where the um, where the robot is picking the item up from. It's, it's a very unergonomic thing for the worker to pick up. So he has to pick it up, take it out, and bring it in. So the robot was supposed to take over this thing. Problem nowadays with collaborative robot that they really lack perception. We have like the robotic skins basically sometimes capacitive that don't really have angular resolution. We have the touch skins that are kind of in addition to power and force limiting. But the robots are really not aware of the environment. So this big um, car manufacturer had their visions of making this um, a reality of allowing the robot to quickly work alongside the worker, but they couldn't implement the full um, implementation because just the cycle time of the robot was too long because of the power and force limiting. So hence we started developing a perception attachment for robotic arms with various multi-sensor, multi-spectrum modalities that's able to interpret the space Space, basically of course with some AI compute as well and kind of make sense out of the space and kind of can avoid collisions can go around people um, and yeah be able to meet these cycle times the actually industry is, is needing we're still in an R&D phase we're hoping to spin this out in the future it's a project we do as said together with EMEC and VOB we hope to have something on the market I would say roughly in three to four years um, um, a solution in a first niche market, something like automotive, something like pharma. And we also hope to be big help for all the people that develop these incredible foundational models, basically, to enable them to not only um, develop their models in the kind of in the simulated world, but also be able to take their robots out, perceive with really high accuracy the real world and kind of deploy their AI out there.